Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do before we actually got into the stream was I wanted to point out one of the fatal mistakes of this fucking game. <laughs> it's always a good start, isn't it? So, as you can see, this is the European version of Xenosaga Episode 2. And the thing that I want to point out is this disc here. This third disc. The special movie. This is not a game. This is not a movie of Episode 2. This was Namco's solution to why European players didn't get Xenosaga Episode 1. That's just the whole cutscenes on a disc. So, the reason this failed in Europe is because they couldn't be fucked to uh, to release Episode 1. Because apparently it was going to take too much time and Episode 2 was coming out. So, why not just slap it all on a disc and ship it out? And you see where that got them. Probably some of the worst sales of Xenosaga ever. Ever. It's astounding. Right, so let's turn on the capture device. No signal, that's bullshit. You are looking in the wrong source. I just need to shunt you over to composite. Done. Okay. There it is. Episode 2. I have a sort of history with this game anyway, because I have played it for briefly. Um, I got to, I think it was the second disc, sort of, uh, and I did a point, a, a sort of a plot point where I had to fly between, uh, the, something had to fly between two black holes for an effect to happen. I don't know. Um, this game makes no sense anyway. And that was it, really. That's all I remember about this game. What you're seeing here is actual footage from the violence that erupted before dawn this morning. These seemingly coordinated reality attacks were reported throughout Federation territory. Oh, thanks, Misty. Yeah, I don't make sense anyway. So, how much Misty? Do you know about Xenosaga? How's your appointment, by the way? Oh, there's been a new development. As internal agencies continue to analyze these violent events, a flash action report within the Federation and obtained by this station indicates that only Realian models created within the last two years or those receiving adjustments in the Milshan star system have been implicated. Although this is not a complete list, we have obtained a partial list of units matching these criteria. This list includes DZ100 6448, DZ200 DZ100 I need to fix that. Today was just the beginning of the ensuing violence. These Realian outbreaks are spreading like wildfire. They'll be reading off plenty more model numbers in the media tomorrow. I can assure you. So, what does that have to do with the operation? I'd like to know why I was chosen for this mission. I'm told that the military has detained all of its Realians. I find it difficult mm. to believe that they don't have any misgivings about us. That was always the problem with Monolith Soft, it was always they, uh, they had this weird way of doing things. I've been given the CEO's personal guarantee that you won't be affected like the others. Besides, no ordinary pilot could possibly control your craft. That makes you very vital to the operation. I don't believe you two have been properly introduced yet. This is Chaos. He'll be joining you on board as your navigator. I appreciate the offer, but you may want to reconsider. A regular human can't ride in that thing. Right. That's why I'm here. Don't worry. All right, it's settled then. Good luck to both of you. As mentioned in the briefing, this is a time 
top secret mission. All ISF code transmitters will be switched off, and under no circumstances will you receive backup from this vessel. You'll have to manage your descent and return on your own. You can expect heavy resistance from both UTIC enemy craft and Federation military units deployed throughout Milsha. It's gonna be dangerous, so watch yourselves out there. Don't worry. I'm coming back. Operator, requesting confirmation. We are to head to point NN441, correct? Correct. The URTV force is currently deployed at the target location. Your primary objective is to retrieve them. Protecting them should be your first priority. All of them? Affirmative. If the situation allows, you will then infiltrate UTIC's mother frame and acquire the Y data, the root of this conflict. Roger. We'll do what we can. ES Asher, startup sequence complete. Requesting launch. Launch request confirmed. Now guiding ES Asher to deck B. Defensive shields deployed. Ready when you are. Roger. Initiating launch procedure. Good luck. Passing through the troposphere. Outer hall temperature returning to normal. Adjusting descent path by 0.22. This should get us closer to our target. Uh. Approach warning. Incoming craft detected. They're on an intercept course. There are. We'll take them all out. Stop counting and take control of the shields. We'll use the shockwave to gain an advantage on them. You've got control of the weapons. Roger. It looks like they're unmanned. With no G-force limit, they can outmaneuver us. They might pull some crazy moves out there, so be careful. It just makes them all the more predictable. Now, well, they weren't shy with the, uh... With the uh, with the flashing lights on this either. JBR energy left either. Let's find some place to set it down. No, but gun is still useful. All enemies destroyed. It's true. You really are as good as they say. How are you handling the feedback? You know, a normal person would have probably passed out by now. I don't want you jeopardizing the mission. 
I'm fine. It feels like it's had some special tuning, but that just makes it more interesting. I see. Well, if I get anything unusual from you, I'm cutting the bypass to the navigator immediately. I can operate this thing fine by myself. Roger. And the opening cutscene took about ten minutes ish. That's the problem with Xenogears and Xenosaga. Looks like we're pretty far out from our objective. Plus, I'd say the defensive network we saw on the way down takes out the idea of an airborne approach. We'll go by ground then. <laughs> Fortunately, the rubble from the burned out buildings should provide us enough cover to cross the city unnoticed. Agreed. We'd better get moving. We don't have much time. Not much time? Does this have something to do with the URTVs? Those designer children? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. We need to protect them from the coming crisis. If and when it occurs. You do realize that's a different story from what I heard in my official briefing? No doubt. As the Federation government special forces, the URTVs were sent in ahead of the invasion. I'm sure you understand what they represent in the conflict against the UTIC organization. Right. I understand that their bioweapons sent in to sever the link between the UTIC's mobile weapons fleet and their source of power, the Zohar. The higher ups have complete confidence in the URTVs. They are the military's trump card. Unfortunately, the brass are also blind to the potential dangers of the URTVs. Fascinating. I hadn't realized the situation was so desperate. Hmm. Yeah, that's always a problem, is the fact that it's it's it feels more like a movie than a game. That's always been the series' problem. Uh, Xenoblade is a little better about it, but not by much. And they provide you with a save point as soon as they finish that intro cutscene. Can't imagine why. So far, still got very sort of token esque gameplay. Making us feel like we've done something. Also, they haven't really given me much to work with so far. No, um, nothing at all. is intact. The system that currently controls the Zohar was actually designed to be used for the UMN transport system. However... Yes. Well, they experimented with the transport of living beings numerous times, but every attempt ended in failure. According to the records, 99.76% of them were killed instantly. However, it seems that on very rare occasions, there were survivors. They didn't exist as people anymore, though. They were just things, never able to recover their consciousness, the very element that made them human. 
Mental breakdown. Lieutenant General Helmer concluded that if contact with the system led to the destruction of the human mind, then even the URTVs created as the system's antithesis might be affected. Therefore, if the URTVs were to suffer a mental breakdown, then likely the Zohar, a source of infinite energy, would spiral out of control. That would be devastating. And yet, the general staff decision wasn't overturned. I suppose that's where we come in. Combat, let's go! Yay! Combat! We actually got there. We have an order, which by this point, this is Final Fantasy X, we have an order. Three enemy icons mechanical, biological, and gnosis. Gnosis, of course. We will pick up at some other time. Square and triangle to attack immediately. Basically, Bad stuff. If you attack an enemy in the back, your aim will be 100% and the critical rate will be f will be doubled. Of course, when the enemy is facing away, if you have this to your advantage, but the opposite true if you are as well. Hmm. Don't know how that works. And mech combat is a little bit different than... Uh, than the uh, what combat will mostly be using. Boost. Cutting in the movement order is called boosting. Yep. So. Press R1 and square, which gets me straight back into the fight. Special moves. Charge ET to 200, which gives me either one. Made several types of insults, which is, uh, so CTC, BST, skill, random CTC. Increase chance of critical hit, increase chance of boost gauge, skill points earned from enemies. The non event is. Target loses its turn, I think. The enemies and characters of battle give skill points. Don't worry about skill in this battle. So menu, special. Ice Storm. Uh, uh, shot Buster? No, single enemy only. Okay. Well, let's explode. Well, I didn't really need to use all my electronic charger, uh, uh, energy charger, whatever the fuck it is. And repair A. I believe there's two different types of healing as well. Enemies will be able to detect us for a while. Also, the uh, the mech designs are very. Uh, Effects. With all the mechs designs are very, very Evangelion. Because that was the point. Especially after Xenogears, which is basically just Evangelion.
That's as someone who's never played Dragon Gears, and I doubt I ever will in my lifetime. Mostly because of how expensive it is. Okay. Only really critical. This is meant to be tutorials, so the enemies aren't actually that bad. But I do know there is a specific problem that I'm aware of. Which is mostly because of how one of the next things I do after this operates. Boost bonus. Oops, let's remove you because you do the most damage. Be able to cut in as fast as I like. So boosting is all pretty simple. It allows you to get more attacks in faster, or healing, depending on what you need to do. It's actually a rather unique system. Also, the cutting delivery is so dead. It's that really bad point of voice acting. IFF signal to let them know we're on their side. We can't let anything stop us. We have to reach our objective. They should be receiving our IFF signal. Wait. Something's wrong. What is this? What the? What's going on with them? This is... It can't be. Is he with us? I don't know, but he's broadcasting an IFF. Attention, unidentified craft. I've received your IFF signal. The other crafts have been tainted, but you seem unaffected. Are you an ally? Well, it looks like this one's still sane. What do you think? Getting out of here is our first part. I think we should stick together. Agreed. Confirmed. IFF signal 
accepted. Stand by. I will now eliminate the affected Federation units. <laughs> I guess that pilot is just as effective on foot as he is in his craft. Truly amazing. Thanks for the assist. And you're? I am Captain Jin Uzuki. You don't look like you're with the regular forces. Well, whoever you are, if you're still operational, I advise you to leave. This place affects people. Some stop being people altogether. They stop being people? Unfortunately, we can't leave. Not until we've completed our mission. Your mission? Forgive us, Captain. I am Chaos. And this is Kanan. I suspect that you're part of the landing operation, aren't you? Do you know where the URTV force is now? If so, URTVs? Ah, uh, the special units. Said to possess an anti udu retrovirus. Our mission is to protect them. Please, if you know where they are, tell us. Hmm. Well, this is quite a coincidence. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Although it's more than that. Fate, perhaps. In any case, I will take you. I'm sure they have insurance. Do you not know think about it? Is it cutscene? Yeah, oh no, okay, we're going. Um, now that I think about it, Kanan is not actually mentioned in the, um, in the instruction manual for this game, or the instruction manual for Xenosaga Episode 1 and 2 on DS. So clearly he exists only for this, and that's it. Other than that, he does not exist whatsoever. Chaos is powered by something, but I honestly can't remember what it is. It's been a while since I've watched Xenosaga the animation. And I think they have a hard time trying to explain what he is throughout most of it. Please stand aside. Attacks, yep. Single attack with the circle button. Information on the attack indicates the effective characteristics. Special form of training. Keep your eyes out for the B and C sign on the left side of the screen. Uh, 
this was the thing that mostly kills Xenosaga 2. So you kind of have to figure out which one it is. You have to stun the enemy as best you can. Three meters. Okay, so it's, it's all about distance. One will double B attack. Cover from breaking one turn, but by using boost, you'll be able to maintain the state. The circle is just a powerful move. Attacks that have air and down tycons. Is what you need to have them as a state. I can only in these states to increase damage. Game's fucking weird. <laughs> and it's the whole thing that basically killed it. Was that they changed too much. At such short notice, too. From what I read of the... Um, of all the notes I can find on what happened to Xenosaga as a series. Oh, no, wait. Whoops. And also, I think a lot of people complained about the music to this game, which we've heard of, like a small amount of it. Oh, do I need to go that side? Okay. Uh, and so far, it's not offensive, but it's certainly not. Oh, segment address fourteen. Okay, fine. Allow us through. Commands, yeah. Stock. Use stock to follow up basic attacks with extra attacks. Stock gauge goes, goes up to three, so it's possible to form five hits like that. Formed by two cooperating characters. The command can't be used, and conditions must be, must be done. Ice brand, use double attack, another condition has to be met. Number two is displayed on the right of the ice brand, so that's how many stock I need. My turn, but the double attack can be used in the opposite solution as well, situation as well. So, menu, double, ice brand. Still there. Oh no, he's got different ones now. Okay. Uh, boost. No C C. Okay. That was a fairly worthy opponent. There we go. There's what I'm looking for. A ladder. Ah. 
do the upgrade three. Uh, let's see. I need to find the way into that box area. I just need to figure it out quickly. I think I can cross the bridge, but I need to find a way up onto the bridge to do that. So let's see how far off screen it is. Um, check. Yes. There's a ladder. So we'll see that is meant to be a shortcut back. Okay. What well, I'll do. Yeah, because uh, we did take a reasonable amount of damage, won't deny. Use the uh, infinite energy cycle that's out here. Yes. Uh, it's something you're going to have to get used to, unlike contemporaries of the time, like uh, Final Fantasy X, it's not as clear-cut and simple with its systems. Ah, of course, there's lots of stuff you can do here. Mm. Alright, I need to find one that's specific to Chaos. I cannot find. Yeah, chaos is pretty fucking useless at the moment. On two, but he can't learn any more after that. Primarily because the game does not think we're actually in the game at the moment. Hmm, meta. Soldiers. There is no choice but to no, not initialized at the moment. But the, you can tell generally what it should be by their uh, health. So this one should be that way around. It will be a long time before my sword can rest. It's all about understanding the patterns of how the, uh, how the zone system works. As daft and stupid as it is, it still serves its purpose. It might give me the power to destroy everything. I'm gonna be a monster at some point. What I'm actually looking for is the fucking other way that I was looking for. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's see, what do we have? We have tank and boost bonus. You are pretty simple. Bees and it down. This one. Oh, I can charge stock at any time. Okay. Uh, let's see if let's try and figure out what zone it is. So, two, three. Yeah. 
All right, let's keep going. So this entire thing was a setup. Exactly. It's all part of an attempt to make the Utic organization, or should I say, all of Milsha, into a scapegoat. Even the Realian violence that we're seeing right now is nothing more than a brushstroke in the larger picture. But who's behind this? And why? Utic is undoubtedly a cover for a greater power still operating in the shadows. I believe that this power is manipulating the conflict between the Federation and the Milshan system, driving a sequence of events in order to get their hands on something very specific. Like what? The Y data. The Y data? I relieved an operative of this disk, and though I was only able to decode it partially, I discovered that all manner of data from all existing phenomena is gathered together within an area of space. And beyond that lies a special place only described in the Y data. Captain Uzuki, how in the world did you acquire this information? <laughs> I have my ways. You want to watch a movie? Play Zeno Saga. <laughs> you know, and also, this does the uh, ostensibly Japanese thing of having the circle button be accept. and stuff, but for what? I don't know. Mm, so was I able to go back here? Yes, if I so wished. Ah. Right, I need to go find everything for it first. Never mind then. A level of nudity. All right. Here it is. You will find the URTVs in the lowest level. All right. Captain Uzuki, thank you for bringing us this far. 
We'll take things from here. Of course. As I said, it was fate. I wish I could go with you further. However, it's imperative that I complete my work on this data. I want to completely expose the shadow behind this conflict and drag it into the light. To do this, I'll have to access the mainframe here, also. What? gave you far too much credit, Uzuki. I thought you were smarter than this, a better thief. I never once thought you'd just come walking in through the front door. Well, I thought you might be getting lonely, Colonel. So I figured I'd come pay you a visit. Hmm. <laughs> Same old Uzuki. Neither your attitude nor your ability to bluff have shown improvement. No matter. The data you possess is no threat to us. You've got nothing. Precisely why. I have some unfinished business here. I see. You know what this means. Uzuki! Yeah, boss fight already. No more words. This is so on this one, I need to start stocking. I remember. I can really do much to him, or I can, and that just looks cool as fuck. But that's it. <laughs> I was okay. Ether, Medica. And from what I remember, um. Uh, I will get there in a second. Uh, from what I remember, you can't... It doesn't hold what zone there is, and also you cannot defend. With the guard, it's of their own volition. Use double. Well, that was stupid. Ah, it's because I need to boost. resistance to physical attacks. Just, Chaos has nothing for the minute, but I know that is bullshit. Um, on, 
both. And that was it. Apparently, you need enough health to survive his last hit. Apparently, I know what I'm doing. Sad sight, Uzuki. Even with your so called reinforcements. Pathetic. You're out of your league. Why, it's clear now that you never even had a chance. Uh, Captain, you're hurt. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, it's from earlier. It's nothing to worry about. If you'll pardon the cliche, it's. Just a scratch. <laughs> so it's begun. <laughs> this planet is finished. There's no point in staying any longer. I think it's time we ended this. Once and for all. Dare to face me, maimed as you are? <laughs> the only thing you've mastered is the art of futility. You never know until you try, Colonel. That's enough! I mean, everything explodes. Kind of, I don't know. Now you see your death. I have always been your better in every way, Uzuki. It's something that old fool couldn't... <coughs> What the? safer than carrying it around. Besides, there's somewhere else I must go. What? You're not serious. 
Look, we're still mobile, Captain. You could come with us. No. This is my own way of atonement. I can't turn back now. But... Please, go on. Bring the truth of this conflict, the truth hidden in that data, to light. Please, do this one thing. For me. Captain Uzuki. I'm counting on you. So... Farewell. Kanan, look at that. Huh? Some kind of phallic object in the sky. <laughs> it just abruptly cuts 14 years later. So that was a flashback. Mm. So you can't. I think you could get that chest that was there, but I'm still curious as to what it was. Congratulations, Kanan. This brings our total loss count to 127. I'd say that's a new record. I remember the first time as if it was yesterday. My son was born the next day. How old is he now? He starts junior high next month. I see. It's, it's gotta be that shadow. I mean, think about it. Its influence severs your data link every time. If we only knew what it was, then we could access the data he gave you. Kanan, it's a summons from Representative Helmer. Could you go ahead and report today's results while you're there? I'm not your secretary, you know. But today is my son's birthday. The dialogue is so stilted it could be made into cheese. I see. That's unfortunate, but I suppose it can't be helped. I understand that it's data concerning the Milshan conflict. Is it really that important? Yes, it is. The truth behind the conflict lies buried within it. Hmm. The one who entrusted that data to you was a subordinate under my command. I had sent him in on an independent investigation. Yes, Jin Uzuki. Whatever happened to him? I thought you were a model with suppressed emotions. Don't tell me you're concerned about him. I'm just curious. He is the one who saddled me with this nuisance, after all. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's left the military. I hear he's doing fine. Now, I have another job I'd like you to undertake. Have a look at this. The 100 series Realian prototype Momo will be executing a dive into her subconscious domain at the Administration Bureau. I'd like to request your assistance. What's the timeline? I've been notified that our people have just now descended from orbit and landed at the spaceport. I'd be obliged if you could go and pick them up. Sounds to me like there's more to it than that. We've noticed a rise in recent activity from both the UTIC organization and the immigrant fleet. I think in times like these, it pays to take precaution. Understood.
Your Holiness. I have news concerning the matter of the Y data. Chief Inquisitor Margulis wishes to convey the details to you directly. Very well. It is an honor to be in your presence. Spare me your platitudes. I understand that the Realian in possession of the Y data has fallen into the hands of the Kukai Foundation. I trust you have an explanation for this? Yes, Holiness. It is true that the 100 series prototype that holds the Y data is currently in the custody of the Kukai Foundation or rather the second Milshan government. However... I trust you understand the significance of the situation. According to the URTV Albedo, the Y data is secured by a form of high-level protection, only accessible at the UMN control center on second Milsha. Hence, the current situation. Preparations for our next move are already underway. Margulis. I've heard that the recent offensive against Second Milshire was the result of Cardinal Heinlein's manipulation of the Federation's military's upper ranks. What do you know of this? I am afraid I possess no intimate details of that. I would presume that all of the Cardinal's decisions are made in the organization's best interest. Your words. I would imagine it is safe for me to trust them. I have sworn fealty to your holiness. I would never allow myself to be manipulated by ancient dogma. Hmm. Very well. Our fleet is considering an invasion of the demilitarized zone in the near future. I sincerely hope that you will not disappoint me. I understand, Your Holiness. I vow to deliver you good news. Margulis. Holiness. I don't like that you are TV. It reminds me of someone... someone vulgar. Be sure you remember that. As you wish. Get more things from Xenosaga Episode 1. I honestly don't know how they would expect you to watch the DVD first. <laughs> they get suspicious when they get old. <laughs> the weaker they are, the louder they bark. Pellegri, what's your status? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I have Herman and Richard pursuing the target as we speak. As this is an independent Inquisitor operation, I'm granting you permission to use the E.S. Issachar. E.S.? You mean those thousand-year-old relics? Do they still work? The E.S. is equipped with the Vessel of Anima. The Vessel of Anima? The Vessel of Anima was discovered at the same time as the Zohar. Its power rivals the military might of an entire star system. Handle it with care. We can't afford for it to get damaged, particularly after the effort it took to restore it. Understood. <laughs> They'll just start going, Metal Gear, at every single time they repeat themselves. Our 
R&D report, file number 026643. The anti-gnosis battle android, Cosmos, while undergoing startup and field testing on board the Federation cruiser Woglinde, awoke during a gnosis attack on the fleet. She initiated autonomous mode, even though that mode was still sealed and has been fully operational ever since. Cosmos is acting under her own volition. However, there are many unstable elements in her emotional program and further improvements will be required. After the escape from the Woglinde, we were rescued by the Elsa, a Kukai Foundation cargo ship. We are presently descending into Second Milsha in order to turn Cosmos over to Vector's second R&D division. Furthermore, while en route to Milsha, we took the 100 series observational Realian prototype, Momo, into custody. During this time, we were pursued by the UTIC organization and an individual called Albedo. Albedo's tenacious attack brought about the appearance of the Song of Nephilim and Proto Merkaba. Cosmos' actions allowed us to overcome these crises. I believe this series of actions by Cosmos has been greatly influenced by her black box components left behind by the late Kevin Winnicott. This will likely become a major focus of our future research. Report author, Xi'an Izuki, Chief Engineer. Cosmos Development Project General Operations, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. I mean, you sort of give you a hand-me-down version of what happens in the first game. Just done so poorly. Ah, it's so good to be alive. Yeah, no kidding. For a while there, I was kind of worried. But somehow we made it back. I'm telling you, the crazy stuff the Chief pulls always keeps me on edge. What are you saying? You make it sound like it was all my fault. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, uh... Hey, Cosmos! Thank goodness you were there. Man, you really saved us. Thank you very much. I am happy to be of service. Hey, we're gonna head over to the government office now. What are you all gonna do, Xi'an? Hmm. Well, we need to hand over Cosmos. I think I'll wander over to Vector's second division. Is that all right with you, Cosmos? Acknowledged. That will not be a problem. I see. Well, I guess you gotta do your job. You're gonna be here for a little while, right? Hey, maybe we can have some fun later. That'd be great. I'll show you around this place, Momo. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. All right, then. Shall we, Cosmos? Please excuse us. Goodbye. What the? Hey, Chief! Wait up! <laughs> I suppose we should get going, too. Sorry. Could you wait just a little while? I'm going to report what's happened to the subcommittee. It appears that Dr. Miss Rahi has also arrived at Milsha as well, if you have a message for her. Really? Mommy's here? Yes. Please let her know that I'm looking forward to seeing her. Got it. I'll pass it along. A lot of the voice actors are not particularly suited for the roles they've been given. Remember that Bridget Hoffman is Cosmos for some reason. They replaced the entire cast for the English VA. until the delivery is complete. Acknowledged. Dr. Mizrahi. Yes, Jan Sauer. Is there something else? 
I am currently Ziggurat 8. So it appears. Momo is looking forward to seeing you. I see. I... I too welcome your arrival. You know... It almost sounds like she's scared to meet her. Eavesdropping is not a very admirable pastime. Say, old man, how about upgrading to a modern carbon-based body? I bet. If we applied combat realian technology, we'd see some serious results. There's no need to play around with extending my lifespan. Sure about that? I bet Momo would be happy if you live longer. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. <sighs> All right. You know who to call if you ever change your mind. Still watching a movie. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we're back to some actual, well, not really actual gameplay. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what I can do from here. I don't think I can do much. Oh, that's what I was going on. So I can learn any class that I want. I have to select it first. Hmm. Brick arms would be useful. Brick armor would be as well. Let's see, I need. Hmm. In class B, we'll put on strength plus two. And vitality. That explains a lot. Um, I didn't have particularly any success earlier with chaos in the middle of nowhere. But the systems aren't exactly perfect. <laughs> and I use perfect in the biggest quotation marks I can find. Also, the clock's not working. So I can't tell you how long I've been playing. this though. What did mommy say, Ziggy? All right. She seemed very busy. Oh, I knew it. She's one of the contact subcommittee's head members. I'm sure it's a demanding role. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I've got to do my best to help her out. The reason we're using like the the first playthrough tag still is that I don't remember shit about this game. Not a great deal anyway. Bush. 
Junior, who are they? Albedo? No, it's not him. It's too gentle for him. Yep, leave a small robotic child the ability to do this shit. Something is undoubtedly happening here, but we wouldn't be able to tell you. So now I need to start messing with the characters. I think Momo is playable, okay. But Ziggy is meant to be sort of a tank layout and everyone else is sort of whatever. Uh, I need to figure out what skills I have in each one. Uh, what would be more useful is to read the status of each one. So Junior has high dexterity. Momo has high... Momo is Aether. Chaos is Aether. Yeah. You can only equip, like, certain things, too, which is kind of silly. But they get upgraded as we go along. So, Momo. Momo is class C. So, E attack and E defense will be useful. Memory is also very vital. Mass class C. Class points earned. Class 2 skills are now available. Yeah, you've got to do a lot to get anything out of this. Including reduced damage, which is bizarre, but whatever. So we'll stay in level 1 for the minute, because that's what I need to do. Needs class E. As well. So level things up. Junior. That's junior. Junior is high dexterity. It's analyzed master skills memory, so it doesn't matter. Uh right, junior. Sort of a half physical, sort of a red mage loadout is what I'm thinking here. So let's see, I need you to have. Do 
Or I could set you up a sort of a rogue type hitter and counter hitter. Then take blasts for me as well. Chaos. Chaos is reasonably powerful, so let's get him to play medic for the minute. Any more class points. It's all down to which one I need as well. Party. Party will move. Chaos for the minute. Between Ziggurat 8. I mean, you can make everyone like a sort of jack of all trades, but it doesn't really. Unless you are willing to grind that out, it's not really important. More about building a class and sticking to it. Why are you doing this? Yes, this is Junior. Like that. And there are some characters which only have one attack. Period. Broken him. Let's get going. I believe you can switch party members mid battle, but I'm not entirely certain how. There was two ways out anyway. Oh, hello. Yeah, <laughs> glad I turned round. What do we got? Soldiers? Soldiers. I wonder how long you'll survive. It's over. everyone. It's over. Hmm. I think it's this is, game is old enough that I need to start whipping party members around if I start losing experience for someone. I'll take care of support. I'll take care of support. Have your analyze. It's change. Oh, you can change mid battle. Okay, there we go. Found it. Not doing so well. It's over. I feel more like a combat model these days.
I mean, you still get enough experience dish to make things worth it, but so we've got make it S, which is not useful at this point. That's just additional skill points. Chaos. You have the ability to provide medical support. I think is this an infinite supply of enemies? Or am I just wishful thinking? I think I just landed on him. Ah, shit. If you feel in danger, stay back. Okay, so who's next? Enemy is that one. this one out as fast as I can. There we go, I've got it. Don't let your guard down, stay sharp. down here anyway, but worth it for the extra experience and SP. Oop. Antidote L. That's just poison. Sorry. What's your heading? 2089! Got it. Strange. What was I just doing? Damn, this tea has stained this hardwood desk. Understood. I've already dispatched someone. I'll have him head to that point immediately. Damn. It's not even safe on land anymore. Right there. Oh yeah, medicine fell out of it. 
Fine place to find medicine. The dumpster. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, it seems it's Excuse me. Well, it seems it's advantageous to keep going fighting. I kind of need to. Oh I'll shit. Surrounded again. Let's, uh, start removing a bunch of them. One moment in which everything just goes far too well. Okay, so Chaos should have not fallen behind. Excuse me? Thunder. One moment.
was I having Momo do? I want her to be able to use E abilities as well. Can't learn anything new and to like finish a section. Well, that's just a big robot trying to kill me. No, oh, I turned around. Fuck off. No zone for it, so start stocking. So need to get most of it turn round. What I should be doing is neutralizing. Or just being a goddamn stupid genius. Um, Doing goddamn ballistic amount of damage. Oh, oh, God, yeah. That seemed a little too easy, I think. Hi, can I help you? <laughs> no entry, but I want entry. I want to go to Aintree. instead. Mm. Seems legit. <laughs> it has... A cutscene in it. It has a cutscene in it. Oh, 
Are we surrounded? Yes. Fuck. I won't hold back if you intend to fight mm. us. I need to kill everything on one side. My chaos with a medka on Momo. Unleash your fragments right now. Ah, fuck. Ah, come on. Shit. I'm sorry. Need to remove one side. Change it to junior is not going to do too much either. Here. Move the one with the pulse rifle, which is him. Wrong fucking one. Ah. Game control. Okay, got it. Don't let your guard down. Stay sharp. That's annoying. Check what I've got. Okay, I'm dragging Momo's poor lifeless corpse everywhere. Ooh, okay. Oh, there was a save point right there. I didn't need to blow all my EP on this. If I remember, if I remember my brain correctly, which I don't, my brain is a foreign thing. Items for me. Sorry. Ooh, I got one. Biosphere. Fuck, that's generous. All this far, this close already. Give me basically two elixirs to start with. Yes, this is the first boss. A worthy adversary. A worthy adversary. Can move Momo to behind it. Will not. What? Okay. Uh, this, this is... What type of enemy is it? Need to wait for it to turn up in the log first. Mm. 
Oh, it's a cracked. Uh, what I can do is either break arms. Let's go. The mistake I've made here already is that I thought um, Ziggy was a that um, I could use it like Oren's. Uh, break abilities in Final Fantasy X. That was a big no no. Zone A. Ziggy. Break the armor. Let's go. Nope, that was the wrong thing. I need the defense. I'm not really bothered by that. Change to junior. This is chaos. It, the enemy just boosted. I should be concerned on that one. Unleash your fragment of that power. <laughs> oh, going to do much. Auto killing system malfunction. I might have to succeed in doing something. Uh, Aether, Medica, oh, Momo again. Unleash your fragment. What I need to do is just kind of fuck around between Momo and Junior. Get everything working. Ooh, that was quite a heavy hit. It's junior. Let's get chaos because I need to heal. Oh, I had stock with Junior. Fuck. I mean, the other thing I could do is try and decide. Oh, I don't really need to. The other method I could have done is try and start disabling its ability to hit. This is also another viable strategy. I just stripped it of its ability to hurt, to uh, to to try and damage race me, which is clever but stupid. I'll take the elevator back down so I can save. Yes. Here. I'm going to have to be quite strict about it. So, that was an introduction to Xenosaga Episode 2. Hmm. 
And as you can see, I already have multiple ways of doing it. Which is, uh, is very strange. Although most of it has been basically a movie for the first hour or so. Even by PS2 RPG standards, that is awful. Uh, right, so let's generally go through what's going to happen. So tomorrow will be... Uh, I'm going to play Pixel Remaster, the first one. Uh, I'll probably leave it as a shorterish stream than today, because I'll probably be tired. But other than that... Uh, and uh, after that, I should get my hours for the following week, so then I can give you a give everyone uh, a uh, uh, a schedule for what I'm going to do. But hopefully, it should still remain that Wednesday will be continuing Mystic Quest, and after that, I don't know. Uh, so let me dump my dumb stuff here. So we have goal. We have passed thirty. So the next one is 40, uh, so I can put that one in the chat for that. Uh, there is... Uh, I have a backup channel, which is where all the VODs are stored. Uh, currently it is eight months behind. Uh, it will uh, give you a reasonable amount to watch and binge. There's most of the stuff that I've done blind, as well as basically the first year of Random Access Memories. Uh, if people want to see how many games I own, we go with exclamation mark backlog, which has all of my games, roughly. Uh, it needs updating. Let me find someone in the... Re Thank you, Twitch. In the retro area to see if I can raid them. As always, uh, if you know anyone that is particularly interested in my dumb stuff. Uh, you can tell them, their pets, you know, if anything that can watch Twitch, just make an account for them, get them to follow. Um, even if you've just flushed your goldfish down the toilet. Uh, I'm sure it will be happy in the middle of the ocean with a phone, a data plan, and the ability to watch Twitch. Trying to find something. See a lot of games I'd love to raid, but I'm trying to find one which is something that people will be able to. Really, someone's playing that. Uh, I'm going to check this one quickly. Someone's playing that game, and I like that game. And they're not. They are literally just out of the room with a snap camera. That's that's quite sad, actually. Well, I'll see if I can find someone else. Quickly. Unless anyone knows of an RPG place they would like to go and hang out in. moment I'm not seeing anything. Now we've moved up in the world from being at the bottom to being just two notches up. <laughs> mm, thanks people for <laughs> continuing to support me being an idiot. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh no. Oh no, it's the final boss. No, that's that's sad. You know what? No. Let's let's go here. Hopefully it'll allow me to do so. 
once we've managed to get past all of this uh, adverts for uh, the, the some new Marvel film. Just phone I'll deal with you in a minute. Okay, here's the final battle, but we're going to go and uh, well, give them a look see. Sorry to anyone just draining, joining us, but unfortunately I have work tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So I am going to go to someone who's raising money for War Child, and we'll go hang out with them. Uh, if you okay, no, so no. wish to see my stuff, uh, this will be in the VOD later. Uh, it should be uh, particularly problematic. Okay, we're going to raid so Game Mistress. They're currently playing oh, so the okay. final anyway, boss of Sonic 3D Blast, um, uh, and they have, they're have raising money for Warchild, so let's go give them a look, see. Display capture. <laughs> Okay, so here, right? Prismatic Rhythm, thank you so much. For oh, they're using Power Up. Yes! That's a good song. Alright. I'll see you, Welcome in. How are you doing? We're tomorrow. Right